What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Captain Bridger and today we are continuing the Athletic Director Dynasty for the University of Central Florida Knights. Uh, this episode, I know I said it a couple times, but this should be the last episode of Strictly Football. Um, I'm pretty sure after this episode, everything else is going to integrate other sports. Um, we had one big stretch between our Midnight Madness and our first bas game of the basketball season. Um, so we're just going to wrap up these last solo episodes of football. And today, we are going to be taking on our rivals in Tulsa. And then after this, we are going to be playing a massive conference game against the University of Southern Mississippi Golden Eagles. That game should determine who is going to the Conference USA Championship. Big, big game here. We're going to be getting kind of right into everything here. Uh, Herb Street is picking the Knights to win today's game here. On paper, we have them beat in everything except turnover differential. We are still struggling quite a bit in that department, but um, last episode we were able to play really, really well offensively, so we uh, just need to keep, keep that up. Now, I haven't done this at all this season, but just kind of give y'all an idea of how we've been doing this season um we had that massive uh 31 30 win over cincinnati opening week we fell two games in a row and then since then we have been on a five game win streak um so can the knights keep it up can we run the table i guess we'll find out here so looking at tulsa's defensive leaders daughtery is leading the team in 22 tackles um c matthews is that clay matthews uh, Matthews is leading the team with three interceptions, and Cody is leading the team in four sacks. Offensive leaders for the Knights, uh, Grigsby is just under 2,000 yards for the season, 16 touchdowns, 15 interceptions. We are finally on the positive in that ratio. Uh, rushing, uh, Webb is our lead rusher at just under 1,000 yards with 12 touchdowns. Gibson is our lead receiver, just under 600 yards with five touchdowns. And uh, defensively, I could go off, but, you know, you see it. We don't really deal with defense. All right, guys, but enough talking. I'm so stoked to get this episode rolling. So without any further ado, guys, let's make our way down to Spectrum Stadium. All right, y'all, here we are under the lights in Orlando getting ready to take on our big rival in the Tulsa Golden Hurricane. A lot of golden things in Conference USA. The Hurricane... Uh, the Golden Eagles, at one point the Golden Knights, a lot of gold things here. All right, guys, so Tulsa got the ball to start the game, and it looks like uh, the defense or maybe even the punt, team, punt return team came up with a uh, huge play for us. So to start the game, we get ball inside Tulsa territory, and we're going to hand it off to Webb, and that tackle just did not want to block for us. Big goals in today's game, minimize turnovers, and... Our offensive line needs to uh, to step it up. That's for damn sure. Oh, come on, man. That is an easy catch for you. Easy catch. Now, we have seen our kicker is not very good. Um, so we're going to come to the line here, third down and nine, hoping to convert. And we will because we've got Webb out there for the quick pitch and catch. And we move the chains. First down, Knights. All right, second down. We're going to run this speed option, see what we can pick up on the ground, and Webb shakes one tackle, gets the first down, ooh, and he takes a lick inside the 10, but uh, option was ran successfully, and we are able to move the chains, but we lose out on a touchdown there, so second down and goal here, we're going to hand it off to Webb up the middle, and he shakes one tackle, and he drags the rest of the defense in, and the Knights strike first, let's go. All right, y'all, second down and 11. Oh, we got a receiver down here. That's Gibson, and ain't no one going to catch him to the motherfucking house. Touchdown, Knights. Let's go. Let's go. And we broke a record. That's what we need out here, man. Come on. All right, y'all, third down and long. This is going to be the last play of the quarter. And we got Gibson down there, and he's able to catch the dot from Grigsby. And we move the chains to end the first quarter. All right, second down and six. We're going to be hanging off to Webb off the outside there. He picks up a block, shakes a tackle, and uh, 
Gets the line to gain, most importantly. And with that, Webb gets over 1,000 yards for the season. What an accomplishment. All right, second down and 10. Handing it off to Webb. And God damn, our tackles suck. Our offensive line sucks. Like, watch this. So, hike the ball. Tight end does nothing. Left tackle does absolutely nothing. This guy comes in untouched. I, I can't understand. All right, yet another third down and long situation. And we got Alexander downfield, and he gets brought down around the five. That's what we need. That is the kind of throwing that we need. Take your time, make smart plays, lead your receivers, and big plays will come. All right, second down and goal. They kind of know what's coming here, but uh, we're going to stuff it down their throat anyway. As Webb walks it on in and touchdown Knights, baby. Let's go. All right, y'all, third down and five. We're going to be running a jet sweep to our man Davis here. Davis picks up a block on the outside. Does he have the wheels to get, break it through? And he does to get around the outside and pick up the first down. All right, guys, another third down and long here. We're running a tight end post, but uh, I'm going to be keeping my eye out on uh, Gibson there on the outside. And Gibson has a step. Oh, no, I beg your pardon. That's Swain, and Swain is able to haul in the huge catch. I knew he had the step. And luckily, Grigsby's got the arm power to get it there. What a beautiful connection that was. All right, third and ten. And we have Webb down there for a touchdown. Oh, my God. What a dot. I thought for sure that safety baited me, man. Look at that. 20 was just millimeters away from picking that off. Oh, my God. What a catch. That, And with that, I think that makes us 6 for 6 on third down conversions. Um, wow, wow, what a catch. I definitely was not expecting that to uh, to work. All right, goodness gracious, yet another third down situation here. We're going to see uh, what we can do this time, as I think I have some space up here in front of me, and we're able to uh, shake a defender there. It's going to bring up second down and two, and uh, we're two out of range. Um, coach is going to uh, keep the offense in. And hopefully, we can figure something out. All right, fourth and two. Let's see what we can uh, get done here as we cut to the outside and we have the speed and we're going to uh, run it out of bounds to stop the clock. All right, second and 11. Oh, yeah. No! Oh, that really, really sucks. I had a receiver so wide open, it wasn't even funny. How just wide ass open they were. Alright, this is going to be more or less a... Uh, just kind of chuck it, see what happens here. We got Gibson all the way downfield into the end zone! Touchdown Knights, baby! Let's go! Oh, yeah! All right, guys, so with that, we're going to go to the locker room up 35-6 to six over Tulsa. Um, offense is playing lights out tonight. So our defense stopped Tulsa yet again. So we maintain our 35-6 lead. Whoa! Man, if only our tight end just hung around a little bit longer. We're playing great, but we can't let uh, dumb stuff like this kind of get us tripped up here. Because um, now it's third and long, and we are way back in our own territory here. Um, but let's see if Alexander can pick it up. And he had it in his hands, and he dropped it. Man, that is two third downs in a row that we uh, that we give up. All right, first and ten now. And we got Davis out there for the big pitch and catch for us. Waited a, a little too long for that one, but uh, I'm glad that uh, we were able to make that one connect. All right, as we approach the line here, this may be our last play of the third. I'll let that bleed out to one, and we're going to hand it off to Webb here. And Webb's going to follow some blocks, picks up almost 10 yards on it, and that is going to do it for the third quarter. So, y'all, 
Get your fours up. Huge rivalry game, and this one is all but said and done. So, um, yeah, we're going to walk away with a pretty nice win here. All right, second and one. Another handoff to Webb up the middle, and Webb is able to break free to the end zone. Touchdown, Knights. Woo, man, I was not expecting that. Our kicker deadass missed the extra point. We need to uh, we need to find a new kicker ASAP. All right, I gotta say uh, Tulsa's defense has uh, shown up a little bit more here in the second half. Um, we have another third and long situation going here, and we overthrow our tight end. Man. All right, so I don't uh, I don't know exactly what happened here, but Tulsa scored. Yet we end up with some pretty damn good field positioning here. As Webb is able to break a tackle. Can he break another? And he doesn't. But we get uh, inside the 20-yard line. And I'm looking at the score. And, and man, we, we cannot let these guys get any hope. We have to uh, we have to kill everything right now. Trust me. Like, I, I'm trying to score again. I want to score. But, um, yeah, let's, let's kill the clock here. Not even give him any chance at anything else. But second down and two, we're going to hand it off to Webb again. And Webb! Oh, my God. I wish his trucking skills were just a little higher, man. That would have been six points. All right. First and goal. Ball on the two. Halfback draw to Webb. And he w essentially walks it in for another night. Touchdown, baby. Let's go. If he's not player of the game, this game is broken. All right, y'all. The defense comes up big. Under a minute left to go. And the Knights are going to walk away with a big one here. All we have to do is just let the clock run out. And just like that, boys, clock winds to zero. And the Knights walk away with a huge rivalry win. Not just a rivalry win, but a big-time conference win as well. As we knock off the Tulsa Golden Hurricane. I believe it was 48-23. to Huge game by the boys here. And not only that, this was the first game all season where we had no turnovers. No turnovers. That's huge for us. Are you kidding? Let's go, boys. All right, so obviously we beat them 48-23. They actually had more first downs than us, which uh, I find kind of interesting. Um, we had six, 464 total offense yards to their 373 which really isn't that uh that far off uh we had 143 rushing yards for the day to their 91 uh we had 321 passing yards to their 282 uh we were on quite a roll there on our third down conversions um but we ended the day 58 percent seven for 12 um to their 50 percent seven for 14 we won 100 percent on first downs to their 50 percent and we were 100% in the red zone, three for three to their 33%. Um, another big time thing though, that big old goose egg in the turnover department, we went zero turnovers today, which is the first time all season that we did that. Um, and we picked up two of their fumbles, so that chips away at our turnover differential for sure. Um, that's going to bring our uh, total yardage with kick returns and everything to 534 yards. Wow, they're 585. So they actually outgained us total yardage wise. That's that's crazy. And we still brought the, the beating to them. That's wild. And uh, we had more time of uh, possession than them. But the big thing I want to look at is the player stats. So looking at Grigsby, he was 10 for 20. Wow, so he was 50% on the day. 321 yards, three touchdowns, zero interceptions. Looking at Webb, he was uh, 26 carries, 136 yards for four touchdowns. Davis was four carries for 16 yards. Our fullback was one carry for four yard. Swain with negative one yards and Gibson with negative one yards rushing. Receiving though, Gibson was three catches for 172 yards, two touchdowns. His longest was a NCAA record 91 yard catch. Uh, Webb ended the day with two catches for 40 yards, one touchdown. Trevor Davis, our tight end, two catches, 29 yards. Alexander, two catches for 35 yards. And Swain, one catch for 45 yards. Now, the blocking department, though, Sullivan was our right tackle. He was uh, credited with two sacks given up. And Trevor Davis, our tight end, was given up uh, one sack. Us in the BCS are going to have some fucking problems here, man. Check this out. Going all the way down. Let's go. Let's first go to number 20. 
Houston. Undefeated, 5-0 in conference play. Um, they're ranked at number 20. That's cool. That's fine. Whatever. But let's scroll down just a little bit and see who's at number 25 this week. SMU? Hold on. You mean the SMU team that we beat? Oh, that SMU team. Hold on. Let's just look at... Uh, Let's look at their team schedule. Oh, what what does that say? L next to UCF. Look at that shit, man. And then that's fine. Whatever you wanna you wanna uh, put them in the top twenty-five. That's fine. But where are we in votes? Nowhere. Oh my. No, sir. No, sir. If we have to run the table to get some damn respect around here, let it be, man. Look at this. Our quarterback, 14th in the nation in passing yards. Our running back leads the nation in rushing yards. On the defensive side of the ball, our, we have someone in the top five for sacks. Put some respect on UCF's name, brother. Jesus. All right, that's enough of my uh, rant here. So we have to get ready for a massively important Conference USA game here against the uh, Southern Miss Golden Eagles. So looking at the preview, we're both 7-2 on the year. However, we are 5-0 in conference play. They are 4-1. And, um, and we are both in the same division. So we must win this game to be able to move on to the conference championship. Herb Street is picking the Knights to win this game. They have us beat in rush offense, total defense, pass defense, and they have an even turnover differential, and we have chipped ours away down to negative four. Looking at their schedule, they lost to, that's Virginia, and then they also got blown out by SMU. Looking at their uh, leaders, Temple leads the team in tackles at 25, Robertson with two interceptions, and King with four sacks on the year. Looking at us, uh, Grigsby is now over 2,200 passing yards, 19 touchdowns, 15 interceptions. Webb, the nation's leading rusher with uh, 1,110 yards, 16 touchdowns on the year. Gibson, our leading receiver at 767 yards with seven touchdowns. I can't emphasize enough, this is probably the most important game of the season for us. Um, we win this game, it's an easy trip to the conference championship to take on the Houston Cougars. So without being said, guys, let's head down to Southern Mississippi and we will see you all on the field. All right, welcome to Hattiesburg, Mississippi. University of Southern Mississippi alumni to legendary Green Bay Packer quarterback Brett Favre. And uh, we're here. Cannot emphasize it enough, guys. This is a massive game for us. All righty, we get the ball about half, uh, five minutes into the uh, first quarter here. And we're going to uh, we're going to kick things off here with a jet sweep to Davis, and Davis almost breaks free for a massive gain, but he ends up picking up six. All right, second down and four for the boys. Whoa, wow, we I totally thought uh, my receiver running the screen was a not my tight end running a deep post that I was not looking to. Wow, we dodged a bullet there. <laughs> but luckily, Davis was there to help uh, pick up that first down. So it is first and ten now. We're running. I did not mean to hit that. I did not mean to hit that. All right. No more options. That's that's it. So we go down uh, ten nothing now. And uh, we're able to throw a quick dot there for the first down. But we uh, we need to uh, keep up that play from last game and uh, have no more turnovers. So uh, third down and 16 here. A huge play for us. And we throw it out to Gibson, who's able to get make the big catch me. for us. Shakes one tackle and not the other, but we get inside Eagle territory for the first down. All right, second and one. We're going to see if they want to jump for him. And they do, but not enough to draw the penalty. But we hand it off to Webb, and he's able to pick up some decent yards and get us around the 25. What's really scary about this season is that um, if for some reason we don't convert or anything here, um, I, I can't I can't confidently say that our kicker is going to uh, help us out here. But um, 
Luckily, we pick up the first down right there anyway. But yeah, that is a real concern I have for this game is having such a shit kicker. All right, first and ten. Handed it off. Tackle to Webb. And Webb follows the blockers through the hole and into the end zone. Touchdown, Knights. All right, defense comes up with a big stop here. So we have a chance to... Uh, have a little bit of an equalizer here for us as Webb cuts to the outside down the field. Crosses the 30. Does he have the wheels? And he doesn't. Damn it. Had he not shaken that defender, he would have had it touch He would have had it for a touchdown. But that is such a huge play that we needed from Webb, and he was able to deliver for us. All right, third down and two. Turns out <laughs> Grigsby's a little shaken, but we're going to hand it off to Webb here up the middle. And did he get the first down? He did not. Oh, no, coach. We got to go for this, right? We have to go for it. All right, let's get him to jump. <laughs> oh, yeah, baby. Let's go. That's what we need. All right, first and goal from the one. I'm going to hand it off to Webb, and he's going to break to the outside for another night touchdown. And UCF takes the lead. All right, Southern Miss was able to go down and score, so we're trailing now 20 to 14. Two minutes left to go here in the first half. And oh, we get tackled as we threw it. All right, so at least time stopped. So uh, we got about a minute and 55 left in the quarter, and Webb is there for a big time, uh, big time catch there. And we're just gonna run no huddle here, try and uh, get back onto the board. Oh, yeah. Boom! Gibson downfield, baby! Let's go! Let's go! In this situation, field goal isn't an option. So we're going to hand it off to Davis on the jet sweep, and he's able to uh, almost pick up the first down. Um, I thought I saw him have, like, the injured animation, but... Uh, Maybe not. <laughs> I guess when uh, when you kind of do it like that. Oh, come on. That was too easy. That was too easy. Man, it interrupted me mid-sentence. Oh, uh, man. Yeah, that... I, I, Man. Yeah, that that's kind of tainted a little bit. You saw that defender down there. All right, y'all. Southern Miss was able to go down and kick a last-second field goal to go into halftime. So we are trailing 23-21 to start the second half. As we hand it off to Webb to start the second half. All right, first and ten. Running Davis on this jet sweep again, and uh, man, I was too. I'm too focused in on that defender that's just glitching out right there, man. I don't. I don't know why it's doing that. All right, second and fourteen. Oh no! All right, big shout-out to the defense for making the stop there. We can uh, just kind of wash our hands of that. But we hand it off to Webb up the middle. Oh, man, he takes a decent hit there, but he almost picks up the first down. Getting ready for first down and 10. I just saw one of their uh, starting defenders out for the rest of the game, which is... Uh, Sorry, we don't. <laughs> we handed off to a Smith there, and Smith is able to shake a defender. I was gonna say we don't want to wish anybody some ill will, but uh, that is that is kind of big for us there, as we throw it out to Smith, and Smith is able to uh, make a play out of it. All right, first and ten now. <laughs> Second down and seven. They, man, they've been showing blitz all game, but. Uh, Throw it out to Davis over everybody's head, and you drop the pass? Oh, good lord. <sighs> All right, it is officially fourth quarter, so get your fours up, guys. We are down by two in the biggest game of the season. Can the boys turn it around? As we hand it off to Davis, he has the wheels for the outside. Does he get the first down? He doesn't. He's just short. But uh, we, we just need to, whatever it is we got to do, we have to keep it on the ground. Um, and we just ha we have to hammer it down their throat, man. They have really put a stop to just about everything we've been throwing at them. So they, they've been playing very well 
this game, that is for sure. And we don't get him to jump off sides, but we hand it off to Webb, who breaks free up the middle, and he's able to get brought down around the 40-yard line. thought there was a little bit too much uh, hand movement up here around the facial area, but um, no flag. All right, first and 10, and Grigsby's uh, feeling... Feeling a little nervous out here. That's all right. Understandable. No way. No way. Whew. All right. Can the boys get it done? Webb, if you were just a little, little faster, that would have been fucking end zone all day. All right. Coach said, fuck it. We need this. Fourth and seven. To keep the season alive. And we got Davis downfield. Let's go. Oh, that was the biggest throw Samson had all game. Biggest throw all game in general. Okay, second and seven. We're uh, handing it off to Davis to cut to the outside. And, oh my God. I almost, I almost ran into somebody on purpose. Because, come on, man. That's, that's not how you win. So Grigsby with a concussion. He is out for the game. So it's it's up to Sampson and the boys here. But uh, we're going to try this run with Davis again. And Davis this time has all defenders in working condition. And he's able to pick up five. All right, second and 15 after a, uh, after a holding penalty. Oh, my God, Sampson. Dude! Samson threw a dot, and I was so befuddled, I can't even think of his name, but he was on the goal line, and he got stuffed. Oh my god. That's like awesome, but so annoying at the same time. Alright, first and goal. We are on the doorstep of making this one a game, and Webb is able to punch it in. Touchdown, Knights, and we are now within three of tying the game. All right, y'all, they go down and kick a field goal, so it is it is now or never. It is touchdown or bust. Conference championship on the line, Bruh. and we nearly throw a pick to start the drive. All right, guys, third down and eight. And we have Davis there on the catch to keep the drive alive. Let's run no huddle, get these guys... Uh, well, let's not give these guys a chance to uh, to breathe here. All right, second and ten. Oh yeah. All right. So we get we get five yards out of it. All right, second and five. These guys are still showing heavy. Uh, what what's going on? Hey, there we go. Showing heavy blitz that keep moving around, and I'll pick up another five yards from it. Keep screwing up like that. Let's see what happens. All right, so just like that, we get first down and 10 now at midfield. Um, they are still heavy, heavy blitz. All right, we got Gibson downfield. Can we get it? Oh, no. All right, second down and 10. We're going to run this jet sweep to Davis. And uh, Davis... Uh, Damn it! Damn my moral compass, man. I could have just ran a touchdown, but I, I don't want to kill the clock, and I I don't feel right scoring on that. I, I really, really don't. Uh, but may, I may have just thrown away the game on that. Maybe not. Clock is still, is still winding down here. There's a minute left. And uh, we're getting shown Blitz again. Oh! And we almost uh, almost had it there. All right, second and ten. Oh, my God! Webb comes up with the catch! Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? How did you do that? How did you do that? No time to explain. We need to run another play here. There's under a minute left to go, and uh, we we need to punch it in here. Come on, Webb. Come on, Webb. All right. Can't make it happen. We're going to call our second timeout. All right. Second and goal. 
I'm going to bring another tight end over here to help uh, cover this. Come on, Webb. Oh, my goodness gracious, dude. Oh, my God. All right. Uh, 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 fuck it. We'll run this. All right. Third and goal. Webb! Get in! Touchdown! Let's go! Let's go! Webb and the boys may have just sent us to the conference championship. The coach wants to run a play for two, but I, I really don't understand why. All right, come on, come on, Davis. Can you can you give us another two? Fuck me, he can't. With 16 seconds left, I want to watch. I want to watch and see what happens here. Southern Miss drops back. Quarterback launches a Hail Mary downfield. And, and it is incomplete. All right, nine seconds left. They're running Hail Mary. You know that. From the 35, quarterback drops back and we suck him! Six seconds left. Third and 17. Can the boys come up with the biggest win all season? And we do! Oh, my. All right. One, one second left. This is the play right here. Come up with another sack. Quarterback drops back. Looking. Has some time. Throws it downfield. And it is turnover. Game over. And the UCF Knights walk away with the huge conference game in what has got to be the most thrilling game we have played all season. Oh my god, I feel like I just won the national championship. This doesn't even, this isn't even a conference championship game. And I feel like this because we just punched our ticket to the national to the conference championship we come into southern miss and give them a massive upset and i oh wow i cannot be more proud of the resiliency of the boys the stats might not be pretty at the end of the game as webb comes up with player of the game i think for the second week in a row um the stats may not be pretty but man oh man am i thrilled with the result so we were tied 22 first downs apiece. We had 505 total yards of offense to their 375. 264 rushing yards to their 88. We had 241 passing yards to their 287. We were 37% on third down to their 44. Uh, we were both 50% on fourth down. Uh, we were 0% on two point conversions. We were 100% five for five in the red zone to their uh, 71%. We, uh, ooh, I didn't realize how many interceptions we had. We had five turnovers, and we lost a fumble, technically. Oh, wow. That's, that stings a little. But like I said, we knew the stats were not going to be pretty. But uh, overall, we had total yardage, 598 to their uh, 465, and uh, we beat them out in time of possession as well. So looking at Sampson, he was 4 for 9, 82 yards. Wow, we had we had no passing touchdowns today. I didn't realize that. Uh, Grigsby was nine for twenty-one, 159 yards, three interceptions. Uh, Moody. They must have gone the the computer must have simmed a, a a punt fake, and that's that's gotta be when that happened. Anyway, looking at uh, rushing yards, Webb was 20 carries, 168 yards, four touchdowns. Davis was uh, 10 carries, 90 yards, one touchdown. Grigsby, five carries, three yards. Gibson, two carries, three yards. Receiving, uh, Davis, Trevor Davis, our tight end, five catches, 91 yards. Gibson, three catches, 74 yards. Webb, two catches, 33 yards. And he was able to set us up for the massive touchdown there at the end of the game for us. Swain, two catches, 24 yards. And Juan Smith, one catch, 19 yards. And Schroeder was credited with the sack given up, as was our center coach. 
All right, y'all, so coming back to look at the conference standing. On the Conference USA, all in all, it is Houston, who's undefeated, and then us at number two. Um, of course, West and, and, uh, and East teams here. So as it stands right this moment, this is going to be the Conference USA championship game. The only team that could come and shake some things up for us is, in fact, SMU. Um, looking at the schedule, they are set to play Houston this coming week. Um, so that is going to be a huge game that uh, we take an eye on because if SMU can pull up the upset, that means that I'm pretty positive we would take on SMU in the conference championship for a rematch um, from earlier in the season. And we beat them by 10 points, so we were able to... Uh, Hold our own there, so that that would be that would be pretty sweet. And looking at uh, who's receiving votes for the top 25, we are still not even thought of. Uh, so we're getting we're getting warped here by the BCS, which really really sucks. But uh, as it stands right now, this is just like the uh, the first week it was able to uh, be looked at here. But we are projected to play Purdue in the Ticket City Bowl. Um, of course, you know this could change. This is just the uh, the first first round of bowl projections but guys that's going to do it for this episode um quite an exciting one for sure um i don't know how i'm going to edit this one so if it's a longer episode i apologize but if it's about the same forget i even said anything but man we uh we really we really notched off a uh a goal and that was to get to the conference championship now of course you know we still have a couple weeks left to play here um of course you know you can see here our next episode we're going to be taking on ecu um so nothing is is set in stone yet but as it stands right now we should have a pretty clear shot to the conference championship game but guys i am i'm worn out i feel like i feel like i was on the field but uh, if you enjoyed the video make sure to like leave a comment below and uh subscribe to the channel if you are new guys i am captain bridger and we will see you all next time. Go Knights. I need a fucking nap.